so that the video has a record. It's 5.02. I'd entertain a motion to adopt the minutes of September 18th. So moved. Do I hear a second? Mark wasn't here. Can you do it? Ah, then I'll second it. Mm -hmm. I have two bitty, bitty, bitty. Bitty bitties? Mm -hmm. um, Tony Kosick doesn't have an R in her name. Yeah, I know. Okay. I knew that. I just, I put it in there for fun to see if you guys were paying attention. Okay. <laughs> Is that it? Um, <laughs> yes. Actually, it was. Any other discussion? Call the roll, please. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Butcher? Yes. I would entertain a motion to approve payment of bills in the amount of $44,828.55 from the general fund, $6,285.71. From the fire fund, $27,724.55. From the cemetery fund, $204.21. From EMS billing, $7,758.15. Road and bridge, $2,855.93. Do I hear a motion? So moved. Do I hear a second? Uh, yeah. And moved and seconded. Am I allowed to second? Mm -hmm. Yep, you're here. It, the, the minutes was that you weren't here last time. Uh, <coughs> any discussion of the bills? I have a question. Yes? Um, well, was Colin with here? Is he not in the building? Uh, did you, you see his mandal? He, no. He's, um, he, um, he, 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 had, he was in Columbus all day. Um, okay. uh, but I can maybe answer that question. Okay. What is the question? Fidelity Healthcare. Mm -hmm. It's it's new and not exciting. What is it? Well, it's the um, it's the same it's the same program that we offer um, folks who might need some counseling. It's the employee assistance. Right. Okay. So it, it, it changed its name. Okay. So that's what that is. Um, <clears throat> the other one I had was. Carry Health Network. Those are just screenings for. It, it just, I don't remember them being so expensive, but it doesn't look like any out of order. Mm -hmm. but 2 a person. <coughs> I'm glad we don't have any volunteers now. That's a joke. So. Yeah. Okay. That's all I have. Um, could we call the roll? Sure. Mr. Crockett? Yeah. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Thank you. Uh, rather than read all the correspondence titles, I only see one that. Uh, leads to direct business, new or old, and that is the, I'll put under new business, the Glen Helen Clean Ohio project. Uh, Resolution. The, yeah, that'll anyway, be under new business. Um, and at this time, I'd like to recognize folks that are here, I see Dean Palata, I see Marilyn Moyer, and would the prosecutor's office like to identify themselves? <laughs> Behind this mask. Look, who's here? <laughs> uh, Stephen K. Haller, Civil Division Director, Green County Prosecutor's Office. 
and I'd like to formally introduce Ashley Crawford, the assistant prosecutor who uh, started uh, Friday and was sworn in this morning as an assistant prosecutor, and uh, she'll be working with the township. Prosecuting us? Uh, I hope not. <laughs> yeah, I hope not. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, are there any items that visitors would like to add to our agenda? Well, we have a printed fire department report. Um, Is there any discussion of it? There were 36 EMS incidents, six in Bath Township, 10 fire incidents, two in Bath Township. One of the days I was here, by lunchtime, there were three COVID difficulty with breathing calls, but we're not listing those separately. So. Mm -hmm. Is there any interest on there? Because I did not receive that. Huh. Did you get one? Yeah. I can print some out. Well, I can make copies if you want them now. Apparently, we have three. Um, uh, serious applications for the uh, lieutenant job. I think it would be good to print this out. Uh, two of the three that we the know. Front page. Mm -hmm. Two of the three that we that we know that we've met, and this I'm getting all this in column, are uh, highly qualified and experienced paramedics uh, and EMT types. Not, I mean, these aren't these aren't people who are trained in, you know, hospital paramedics, these are emergency paramedics, which is good. We didn't specify that they, that's who these are. So, uh, hopefully we'll get a couple of uh, qualified applicants out of these. <coughs> Good news. Oh, I do okay. Thank you. Yes, it is. And actually, there's, I don't understand, well, I guess it's typical stuff. There's, there were 10 requests for applications that came in, but only three were returned by the deadline, which was Friday. Than so it makes it clear that although the postmark deadline was Friday, more may arrive. Right. Okay. Any other questions or comments about fire department? <coughs> Not I. Cemetery and road report. Hello. Since our last meeting, we had four barriers, all of the four, two were natural. Jerry Williams. I'm so used to it being an emergency <laughs> call from the ceiling. <laughs> okay. I think it's your phone. Why don't you go ahead? One bell I had. That's it? After four weeks? Yeah. He was going to have a cell phone burial, but <laughs> didn't quite get That's about all we had. We'll work on the building. Were they, um, uh, did, did Brandy do any of them? Yes. Well, I was going. Uh huh. The, uh, the natural, the first natural. Mm -hmm. That was the one that you dealt with. Mm -hmm. Somebody asked me one, then I had one Wednesday. Uh, Went all right? Mm -hmm. Good. It's fun. They bought a lot. Very good. Mm -hmm. And I still have the two uh, probes. They were. <coughs> 
done so far. Be done with them uh, Thursday afternoon. But if you need them, I'll I'll I'll, I'll, okay. I'll bring them right away. Uh, anything else on cemetery? No, Road report. I'm try to finish my training this week. I got a couple roads to do. I'll be done. We had to take some trees down over in our circle last week. Uh, Thursday, Wednesday. Which? At Bushy's and Bush's house. That same? Yeah, the other ones. Huh. A little farther down, they, they, they creeped on down that garbage truck or something. Did Mark work out all right? Wasn't his name Mark? With a bucket truck? Oh, Larry. Larry. Larry from Bath Township? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it worked out fine. Good. Big help. Did you have to uh, clean up the branches from the Glen Forest Cemetery from those crab apples or whatever? Oh, they yeah. Were? Yeah. Okay. Just the same thing. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so the guy picked those up at it and the lady is still over there. I guess as long as we're there, we might as well say, because we haven't met since then, the, the uh, building was removed, the ground was cleared, it was all staked out. The cement people, Fillmore, came last week and excavated out and, and poured the cement pad for both the columbarium. Uh, I don't know, we have to name that thing. Columbarium something. It's not a garden, unless I guess we plant a flower, it could be a garden, but uh, the columbarium area <laughs> and the new shed. And the new shed should be here within three weeks, the guy said. So, within three weeks. So. Uh, I took a picture for you. It looks <laughs> like a cement slab. It does indeed. <laughs> Excellent job. Um, the we are. Uh, the building's already assembled, or they want to put it together here? No, they'll put it together here. Oh, good. I was wondering how they're going to be in there. Yeah, it's a, it's a kit, but it, it's on site. Can they fasten it down, or will I have to do this? I believe they will. Okay. I cool. thought it was a turnkey operation that you understood. I've got the door locked, the candle and stuff. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah. Maybe. Those that haven't been following this in detail, <laughs> we tore down a, a utility shed, and correct me if I'm not repeating this right, uh, and we've had a cement slab poured, and there will be a columbarium, two, two columbaria, mm -hmm. and I, it's not clear to me, will there be a roof over the whole thing or are these standalone, standalone. sort of open walls yep. that where you, your memorial ashes will be? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are 50 niches in each column bearing, um, and there's plenty of room for additional ones. This isn't all, so if in fact they become near capacity, then we've got room for more of them, but we decided to start with two, with 100 niches. So. Hopefully, hopefully they'll be in just after the first of the year. That was the last report that I had. They're being made in Batesville, Indiana, at the, across the street from the Batesville Casket Company. Uh, you do a picture of the, uh, of the slab? So is this a masonry product or a metal? It's or a, no, it's marble. 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 Okay. It's like a mausoleum. mausoleum. Yeah. 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 And we are putting uh, stones around two thirds of it, um, very similar to the way the stones are laid at the Memorial Scattering Garden in the Natural Burial Cemetery, um, to just give it some definition. And then we're also putting five 10 foot arborvitae trees uh, in a space that's between the slab for the columbarium and what will be the shed. Um, I think one of the great benefits is the shed roof, the way it's slanted, will be a natural irrigation for the for the arbor bodies. It's just gonna roll right off onto the tree, so we won't have to uh, we won't have to water those. And we could probably put little barrels on it and have water for everything else too. So, but uh, first things first. So that's that's the prog progress on that. So we, so we, we bump back and forth between the roads and cemetery. Was there anything else about roads? I was 
unable to go look at roads here, so I'm trusting that they're all oh, they're perfect. They're are they? <laughs> um, I went around grabbing the ends of each one, just kept giving them a flip, you know, just in case there's any debris on them. Talking Asphalt's with, nice and springy, everything's fine. Talking with Brandon uh, over the past couple of weeks, it seemed like they were really getting tended to very well. Um, oh. Everything was mowed, you know, all, the, all the trees were, were trimmed back. Uh, potholes were filled. He's a good helper. Yeah. Um, the uh, wet, he wedged a few of them. He was busy. Uh, in between cutting the grass at both cemeteries and trimming. So we're glad to have you back. <laughs> Do you have anywhere else you were headed out to? Mm -hmm. Anywhere else you're headed out to? No. no? Not this January. Okay. <clears throat> it was good while it lasted. Wait, you're saying the whole gets done when Dan is not here? You, I never said that. Yeah. He's the hardest worker we've got. Just for the record. That's right. On film. Wow. <laughs> hardest full time. So, moving on. Fiscal officer's report. Right. This will be exciting. We have a resolution for the annual road report, don't we need to? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. we do. Yes, please. Excuse me. Very official. Uh, help me out. I just thought this was informational. It's resolutional too. And where is the printed resolution? It's, you're in your, it's in your right hand. It doesn't look like a regular resolution. Okay. But in the back, there's a resolution number on it. So Dan can tell you all about it. <clears throat> It's an annual thing. Yeah. So our annual report on the township roads as of the year end 2020, which is a little ambivalent. I, I, would, un I would entertain a motion to adopt this annual report pursuant to Ohio Revised Code 5571.13. So moved. Want to hear a second? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Anything notable? Any discussion? Well, Dan, you can tell us just, an ad for those that aren't familiar with it, I know it because I've seen it many times. <laughs> But they basically, you report, we report to, to the county and what to your office. What we have and what we don't have. Right. They just want to, yeah, some people, some roads, whatever, fall yeah. off or break or something. Or you, add, or just, or you might add a new road for right. some divisions and Nothing stuff like has that. Nothing changed. Well, well yes, the it's only a road change. We mm -hmm. lost we that to the village of Yellow Springs. <laughs> uh, well, it's still on there. I'm not it's sure on that there. as of the end of 2020, it, it was still our yeah. We have oh, okay. I think that's what this says. But I'm I'll, I'll mark it on my report. Annual report of township roads for 2021, parenthesis, as of year end yeah. of 2020, and the annexation by the village wasn't until Mark. spring of 2021. Yes. I think I'm right on that. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll mark it. Yeah. Margaret's giving a little background. Dan and I were sitting here because I had a copy of a, of a similar report from 20 years ago. And we were looking to see what, what had changed. And the addition of Kyle Road came about oh, yeah. um, a while back. And then the county keeps making little tweaks to the length of the amount right. of road that supposedly we're, we're taking care of. But otherwise, the list was, hasn't changed. They, Except that they use the different, going to go off. Right. They use different GIS systems. Mm -hmm. and it either gets them more accurate or less accurate either way, but somewhere on there. Uh, the county actually doesn't do anything with, with this. That's a state requirement. All they're doing is passing that through. Oh, passing it through. Yeah. They'll just send it right, right up to ODOT. There's a stimulus fund available, but we don't qualify for anything. We do qualify. We do? Well, in theory, yes. What the list shows, we don't play. Well, we have culverts and we have Chipsfield roads. I saw a culvert, but I didn't see anything about the Chipsfield roads. <coughs> you know, in town stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, there, yeah. Curves and gutter, we yeah. Have all. There are curves and gutters too. But so if there's something that we can 
Well, like, we'll be probably trying to get them. I don't have it. I'll show you. We don't have a copy of it. Right? That, <clears throat> although that's interesting information, it is not directly on this resolution. So I, I'd like this. I'd like to call for a vote. Okay, Mr. Crockett. Yeah. Mr. Hollister. Yes. Mr. Mutcher. Yes. Thank you. Uh, anything else on roads? I'll get you the information about that township stimulus. See if you want to pursue it. Um, it could be a little bit problematic for small townships like us that don't really have much staff that can spend a lot of time at the engineer's office going over figures and getting certifications. And something things. like that before, but we didn't qualify for it. Yeah, this is, this, is a, this is really entirely different. This is more along the lines of the CARE Act fund uh, program. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Fiscal officer's report. Um, I just have a resolution, one resolution to present. It's um, resolution 2021-36, and it's a little different than what we usually do, but it's um, a reallocation of or amendment of appropriations. And I've given everybody a copy because I don't really want to read all these. We, what Technically what we did was we, in, in um, the fire levy fund, we decreased appropriations by a certain amount for what, about 15 different um, line items. And if you look at the resolution, the first whatever many there is is all decreases. And then the, bo the bottom line is an increase in salaries of $120,019.70. And that's the exact amount. If you add all these numbers up above it, it equals the 120 and $19. Um, and then uh, just a couple of like standard appropriation changes, um, which is basically just adding a little bit more money and a couple of funds. And EMS billing, I increased um, 2281-230-150 compensation of board and commission members by $5,000. And that's, our, that's how we pay our volunteers. And in the general fund, I increased our audit services by three hundred dollars because those auditors just want our money. Just keep that bill they coming. Just, they um, just keep on auditing. <clears throat> Look over your shoulder because I did not see the five thousand dollar. Oh, you must have looked up. I'm sorry, you have the wrong one somehow. Anyway, here, take this one. This is better. See, I actually was reading. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is this was the um, that was the first. You know, Version and then I had to do some more stuff. Anyway, yeah. yours looks up to date. Yeah, okay. That's For it. interested viewers, uh, one they of the reasons problems. that we've been doing this over the past couple of months, uh, Margaret and I, and with Don's assistance, uh, trying to straighten out as tightly as we can the, the salary requirement from the fire and EMS department um, as we go along uh, and how it is balancing out with the budget that was projected for it for this year, because number one, we got to go, we've got to go through this for next year and try and make sure that there's enough money for them. And number two, there'll be a, a fire levy coming up, and we need to get some pretty accurate numbers as to what we may end up having to put on that levy over and above what we're uh, bringing in now. And the the sad reality is, if if, if you take away the Bath Township contribution, which we will lose after next year, which is $110,000 to the fire fund, and the, um, the CARES Act money that we've received this, uh, this year uh, to the tune of roughly 70, 72000 something like that. Oh, we're, we're above that now. Well, okay. Yeah, well, yeah we just right. got, we got another, um, we can't that. That's what the right here. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that number. Yeah, well, that's what that is. That's see, see, this is the the, the American Rescue Plan. There's the coronavirus. So now we're at about one hundred eleven thousand. Okay, I, I have yeah. to ask about that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the the sad reality is that based on this year and where we're going and where we're going next year, I would 
anticipate by July 1st next year, we will have zero available funds to pay salaries based on the budgeting that we have in that fund. Fortunately, we have an excess of funds. There's never an excess, but we have all right, an excess of funds in the general fund that for all intents and purposes, we're going to end up using a quarter of a million dollars, maybe, next year after July to, to finish out the year um, before we can start a, a larger uh, levy balance. So anyway, <coughs> keeping these numbers as accurate, as, as tight as we can from now on, is going to allow us to know what we need for next year and for the years after that. It's, of course, next year is the most important because we're going to have to budget that uh, relatively soon. Well, we already have, but we're going to have to we're going to have to make sure that there's money for that. So that's the long, long and the short of that resolution. That's the short of the long resolution. Well, I think. <laughs> Look at it a different way, but I will entertain, or not, I would, I will mo move to adopt resolution 20, 2136. Do I hear a second? I second that. Any other discussion and questions? And this is, so, so this all happened within the, the fire fund. Mm -hmm. But you just took little lines and put them all, moved them in all of the salary, or you decreased all these little ones to make up for the salaries. Okay, to be to be okay. accurate, Marilyn, uh, I won't stretch this out. We're roughly because this is uh, first of October, first issue of October. We're roughly eighty percent into the year, so we've spent mm -hmm. roughly eighty percent. Theoretically, we've spent eight percent of what was budgeted in all these different lines: eighty percent of electricity, eighty percent of operating supplies, 80% of this, 80% of that. So what we did was we went through all those lines and anything that didn't come up to having spent this year 80% of the amount that was budgeted, we took the difference between that and what was budgeted and then took that difference and moved and made one of these line uh, appropriation uh, movements and then added them all together. That's how we got to where we are. Yeah. Okay. But not every line, not every appropriation line in the fire fund was touched. No. Right. But a bunch of them. <laughs> Other discussion? Uh -huh. You call the roll, please. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Thank you. <clears throat> Do you have other items in your report? I do not. I have one question, if I might. Mm -hmm. um, I know we received the um, ARPC money for mm -hmm. 2021, which was $67,000. 60, $67, Yes, and then we could receive more money since okay. then. That's why there's over 111,000 there now. Okay, but look, it was this. I, I got you, but I don't have that page. What are you looking at? That's fun status. We're not. The way I understood it, we're not due to receive the additional sixty-seven thousand dollars until next year. Well. Um, now they may have sent it early. They may have changed because they changed the reporting deadline, which was. To be tomorrow for the first for the first from March 21st until today, well, the end of September, the report was due the sixth. That's the day after tomorrow. Due the sixth. Well, they just changed it yesterday to now be due April of next year. So maybe they decided to send the additional half, the sixty-seven thousand for 2021. I don't know, but I just was interested in where that. Well, yeah, on my bank statement, um, the, the initial 60000 or whatever the number was that we received, um, I actually called the county auditor's office because the bank statement, it was electronic deposit, mm -hmm. was very vague. just said from the state of Ohio, 
And um, so I, I called the auditor's office and I was like, well, do you, did you guys send this? You know, because sometimes the state, um, we, get a, we, get, we get a revenues from the state of Ohio, which is, um, it's part of the semi-annual monies that we get. Mm -hmm. So anyway, they said, no, that's not ours. She said, it's probably the uh, um, rescue plan uh, uh, monies. And then I got, and then I got, then there was another one um, just this past month. And, and um, I looked at it again and I, I compared the, the electronic addresses and everything from the first deposit mm -hmm. and they're exa exactly the same, so. Is the amount the same? No, no, not exactly. But I don't know where else it would come from, what else it is. Yeah. I mean, I can, I would think the state of Ohio would tell us, <laughs> but it's just a chunk of money that gets deposited to our account from the state. So, it's I, ours. I think that's worth following <laughs> up on, I mean. Yeah, well, I, I will. I mean, I, the I, like I, said, could, I did. The state call. auditor could slam us for something later. Well, yeah, I mean, like I said, I did call the county because they're the only ones that would mm -hmm. make that kind of deposit, and they were like, that is not art. We did that come from us. So, I will, I, I will happily call the state tomorrow. <laughs> Don't know who, but. Yeah, the state auditor? Who do you call? Call Bob Hackett. It would be the treasurer's office, I would yeah, assume. Treasurer, yeah. yeah. The treasurer. They write yeah. the check anyway, don't they? Hmm? The, the treasurer's office would be the. Who, I would who think that's where the money. The transfer. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so, if it's not them. <laughs> Not reimbursement it, it, for unpaid property it's, tax. It, it says state of Ohio on the on the, the bank statement. So anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll I double check. I appreciate your catching that, Chris. No problem. Well, I, I, I like to catch money. Yeah, well, I, I caught it. I, I put it in there. <laughs> yeah, Margaret caught it. I saw it. All right, good catch, Margaret. Yeah. Anyway, well, we'll make sure it's ours. Anything else? No, no. Thank you. Anything else for the fiscal officer? Do we have a zoning inspector? <laughs> yes, such as may be. Uh, since I last saw you about a month ago, I've only issued one zoning permit, but it's for a new house on the lot that on the um, southwest corner of Meredith and 343. Um, $400,000 house. Uh, let's see, uh, the trustees already know what happened at the Zoning Commission meeting, because they were there. Uh, I don't think I have anything else to re report on. Did anything happen besides you approved the four shows? Oh, no, not, no, you're not going to the BZA. I'm, well, I was, I was at the BZA meeting, but that's, I mean, the, the BZA, yes, I can can say that, although it seems like history at this point, uh, approved the, the temporary variance that Steve Weirig asked for with a slight modification that, that Steve actually asked for at the meeting anyway, which was to approve the four more Dave Chappelle shows, but only as a block of shows. In other words, four shows together within a five-day period as opposed to just four days during the month. Um, it was a split vote, and, and at least one person that, that voted in favor of it said, but we, I probably wouldn't consider any more requests. Um, that's about as, that's, you know, what, what, what took place at the end of the meeting. They deliberated in executive session. Um, so we don't have any any background of the rationale for other, well, I mean, and the newspaper article, I think, covered it fairly clearly. Um, Richard Silliman said that he felt that, that performance, although performance venues have been allowed to reopen in Ohio, they aren't, many aren't reopening, mm -hmm. so they're not exactly as available as, as they could be. I, I'm not sure exactly why that bears on, on this situation, but that's my opinion. Um, there was, I don't believe there was any other explanation. How were the crowds where people turned away? 
No, no one mean, turned away. He said it wasn't no, the, was the meeting was people. not was not full of people. Okay. Um, okay. Contrary to thinking that okay. it, that it might be, and that um, I don't have the numbers here, but maybe I received on the order of 15 pieces of testimony by email prior to the meeting. Um, there were a, a variety of people, but it wasn't a bunch of. of uh, um, you know, just people packing the room to watch the show or to, to all say we we you know we want we want more shows. It was a, a, as I say a, a, a variety of testimony, um, all in favor of the uh, variance except for one person, a resident in the area. I had to leave early at the Zoning Commission. Was there any further discussion about the we, PD? We kept or? talking about it, but there wasn't any, um, what would I say? It wasn't that someone said, oh, okay, here's what we should do, or anything like that. It was just further discussion back and forth, um, answering Don's questions, uh, getting a little more background from regional planning, but, um, no, nothing that, that gelled in any way. Well, it is. I mean, it's still up in the air. It's oh, yeah. No, it, no, the Zoning Commission won't meet now until November. Mm -hmm. it's, it's harvest time and they don't, don't meet in October. Um, and at that time, I imagine they will, they will make another stab at, at, at writing a, a revision to the PUD chapter that will be satisfactory to, to a majority, at least a majority of the trustees. Um, but at, at this rate, if they do something in November uh, and they have a public, they have to have their public hearing, mm -hmm. then it'll, it'll be the new, new trustees that will be just making the decision. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure that they will follow the same procedure they've had each of the other times, which is circulate it and ask for feedback before they go into the process of, of having the their hearing because it's it's kind of a waste of time for them to have a hearing and and then you know and then have to start all over again. So, um, but I can't I can't speak for the zoning commission. I can just tell you what my past experience has been. Anything else for the zoning inspector? Business, we have a repeat request uh, it was last year or six months ago we passed a resolution in support of Clean Ohio Conservation Fund grant application by the Glen Helen Association and they said that on a technicality, the Ohio Public Works Commission uh, turned it down and urged them to work through to come to land trust to make the same grant application. Uh, it's not that long. I'll, I'll read it. Uh, this is a so they're suggesting this wording for a resolution in support of. The, Township of the Tecumseh Land Trust application. Whereas the Miami Township trustees received a request uh, from the Tecumseh Land Trust, so there's an extra from in there we should cross out, mm -hmm. <clears throat> for support of their application to the State of Ohio Public Works Commission for site improvements to Glen Helen Nature Preserve consisting of 100 1,125 acres with public access owned by GHA Glen Operations LLC, a wholly owned subsidiary of the Glen Helen Association located in the village of Yellow Springs and Miami Cedar Cliff and Xenia Townships. There is no Cedar Cliff. It's a Cedarville Township. I should have caught that earlier. 
and to which TLT holds conservation easements. And whereas the Miami Township trustees have reviewed this request for support of the application and has determined that nomination of the property for site improvements is compatible with the long range goals of local government area regarding the matter of open space protection and public access. And whereas the Glen Helen Association wishes to participate and commits to secure and provide at least 25% of the <coughs> access improvement expenses. Now therefore, be it resolved by the Miami Township trustees as follows. Section one, that the local governing body hereby supports the request for nomination of the property for site improvements. Section two, that the local governing body hereby certifies that the proposed site improvement to the nominated property are compatible with the long range open space goals of the local government area. That the fiscal officer is hereby, or section three, that the fiscal officer is hereby directed to transmit certified copies of this resolution to the Glen Helen Association and the Tecumseh Land Trust. Did I, I see you waving a change over the... No, I just wanted to, I just wanted to confirm that it's 37. So I would like to uh, make a motion that we approve resolution 21, 202137 in support of the Clean Ohio Conservation Fund site improvements. Do I hear a second? Do you want a second to the resolution? Yeah. And moved and seconded. Uh, I repeat that we voted on this before. Mm -hmm. And at that time, Glenn Director Nick Gutis uh, gave us more description. Mm -hmm. Any questions? No. Please call the roll. Mr. Crockett? Yes. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mm -hmm. Resolution passes. It just needs to be done. It needs to be changed. I can't believe it. Is there old business? I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I mean, we have old business, but not yeah. anything this. Not today's. Somebody make up something to take a few more minutes? No. <laughs> Don, you're allowed to set a new record. Oh, uh, <laughs> he's, no record he's got a ways to go to get to the record. <laughs> yeah. What time is it? No, record for Don. Oh, it might be a record for him. I don't know. What time is it, Don? It is 545. There you go. It's 545. 43 minutes we've had. Any other business? Just. Hmm? Uh, I would suggest that we, uh, that we vote and uh, adjourn the meeting. <laughs> so is that a motion to adjourn? <laughs> I hear a motion to adjourn. Do I hear a second? A second. All in favor say aye. 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 This meeting is adjourned. Now we've got a long ways to go to get to the 10 minute mark for Mars. <laughs> <laughs> Mars. <laughs> Mars. <laughs> Mars. <laughs> Which I have.